Okay, Serena, thank you for joining me. This is your life. I want to see how much you remember from your career so far. Quick well, quiz. I would just like to say before we start, I think I failed last year, <laughs> so hopefully I can do better. Okay, let's see how we go. First question, when was your first ever WTA title win? Um, 99 in France. Correct, you got the bonus point and all, I didn't even need to ask. Okay, next one, how many career doubles titles have you won? Um, let me say 19. Oh, you were there first nearly, 22? Oh, okay. Okay, next one, when was the last time you were ranked outside of the top 10? Um, <laughs> I'm so good at these. Um, okay, I got this. 2011? Yes! Okay, okay good. Um, coming into Wimbledon, you're on a 31 match winning streak. Congratulations. But prior to this, what was your best consecutive match record? Gosh, these are hard. Okay, I will say 24. 21. Oh, okay. Close. That was in 2002 and 2003. Right, you are the only, only the fifth WTA player to hold all four Grand Slam titles at the same time. Can you name the four other athletes? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's Margaret Court, mm -hmm. Steffi Graf, mm -hmm. Martina Navratilova, mm -hmm. Billie Jean King. Maureen Connolly. Oh. oh. You know what? I just threw Billy because I, I love her, and I figured it, it must have been her. But I, I was. Think, I think I think we can give you a half. <laughs> half point. Well, half point. Okay. Producers agreed. Right, your first Grand Slam singles title was where? U.S. Open, 1999. Roland Garros is not correct. Ignore me. What was the score? Who was it against? In wait, which tournament? Your first Grand My Slam. First, it was. I'll never forget this one. It was six three seven six against Martina Hingis. Perfect. Another two points. Didn't even need to ask the bonus. Right, you have played Venus a total of 24 times to date. You lead the rivalry with how many wins? Okay, um, that's where I have math skills. <laughs> okay, so 12, maybe 14. <laughs> 14. <laughs> um, 14, 10. Yes! Oh! I love that! Oh my God, okay. Uh, when was, just a couple more, when was the first time you ever held the world number one ranking? Um, 2002 um, at Wimbledon after the semifinals. Correct. She's giving me more information than I'm I even better. need. I'm getting better. Three more. Out of all four Grand Slam tournaments leading into Wimbledon, at which do you hold your best win loss record? This now. Now. Right? At which Grand Slam do you hold your best win loss oh. record? At Wimbledon, of course, right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> Bonus point. Yeah. Do you know what it is? No. How many times have I won? <laughs> Do you know your win-loss record? You guessed this last year and you were like two off. <laughs> I totally made up a number last year. So um, I'm going to say, gosh, let's see. I've played about 10, 12, 11 times. So it's 77 maximum matches if I multiply that times seven. So then I'm going to subtract a few. Um, Just good at math. I will say <laughs> 74 wins and about nine, eight losses. Eight losses is correct. Okay, I didn't send that setting for eight losses and 77 wins. 67, ah. so nearly. Okay, we're going to give you another half. Okay. Leading into Wimbledon, this is a good one. How many aces have you served this year? Oh, um. I don't remember serving <laughs> that many this year, so I will say um, 98. Serena, you're better than that. Oh. Come on, give me another number. Okay, 150. Still better than that. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. 268, no lady, oh, yes. Last one, very easy. How long roughly does it take for the center court roof to close here at Wimbledon? 10 minutes. Yes! No way. Yes! <laughs> Look at that! She loves to guess this girl and she always gets it right. Right, quick score check. 10 points, Serena Williams. You uh, give me a high five. Well done. Thank you so much.